Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy with Hope Designs. And I'm gonna do a bloom on this uh, hexagon. And the color inspiration came from Pranal, and I'll link, link his channel below. Um, he did a beautiful bloom with peacock colors. And for some reason I had already seen it and I stumbled upon it the other day and I was like, I totally wanna try that. Um, now mind you, his is spectacular. This one is not gonna necessarily be spectacular. Yeah, but cool. if you haven't seen it or you don't follow his channel, you definitely should. It does amazing blooms. So all the ingredients I use are in the description box below. So he laid down a layer of the house paint, which is Glidden uh, Premium Eggshell. The first color we're using is Peacock Feather by Color Art. I did modify the colors a little bit. Um, so I'll tell you what I used. Um, by the way, that is a fabulous color. Anything that you want to purchase from the Color Art website, feel free to use my code, Mandy1120, and save 20% off your entire purchase. Um, the link is below, and so is the code. So don't hesitate to take advantage of that. And this is magenta. Um, this is Atelier Free Flow Magenta, I believe. And uh, it's probably my favorite magenta. And he used, I think, Sunburst, but I didn't have that mixed up. I did have some Twisted Lemon, which is from Color Art, mixed up, and it was getting kind of old. So I mixed it with some Pineapple Crush because I had a bunch of that mixed up. And since I don't use yellow a ton, I didn't want to mix up a third yellow when I needed to use that. And this color is Palazzo. So both the yellow and the Palazzo are glitz colors from Primary Elements, which means that they are semi-opaque versus most Primary Elements, um, which are semi-transparent. And then this is where I think it falls apart for me. He used a white cell activator with a black cell activator on top. I don't have great history with black and white cell activator together. Um, I do okay with white on top of black, but not the opposite for some reason. I don't know why I didn't try that. I also do okay with putting a tiny bit of white pouring medium or mixed with the pouring medium in a very small puddle under black. But for some reason, when I blow them out together, I don't get the spectacular results that everyone else gets. So maybe it's just a practice thing. Um, so this first one, I just didn't do a great job blowing out. Uh, I used the world's smallest blower just because of the size of this, and I didn't want to have to scrape it and redo it several times, which ends up being rather ironic. So I am blowing it out a little bit first. As you can see, I didn't do a great job spreading that out very evenly, and I think that's part of the problem. So what I do when I use the world's smallest blower on kind of a larger surface is I sort of wiggle it as I'm blowing it out to broaden its reach. Cause that's part of the problem is it gets too narrow for larger surfaces. That's why it works great for coasters and small things, but it has kind of a narrow mouth. And so if you kind of wiggle your hand as you blow it out a little bit, it gives it a little bit more depth. So the middle of this looks great, um, but I don't think either I didn't blow it out well or um, I didn't have enough cell activator because I have very little lacing or cells beyond the middle. So the reason why I'm doing a voiceover is because I sped this up and I end up pouring over this and you'll see why. The, the center is really pretty, but the rest just looks like shimmery paint, which is beautiful, but that was not what I wanted. So I knew ultimately I would end up pouring over it or scraping it or whatever. So I was like, let's just do it. Um, so it looks funny when you watch it spin. It looks like the hexagon spinning by itself, but it's not. So you can see not the greatest blowout. Not terrible. It's not great. I probably should have used this as some yeehaw practice, but I didn't. So whatever. But I have some ideas. There's really cool cells in that white negative space but we end up losing almost all of that of course and there's really cool cells in the middle 
and in some very small places. But overall, I wasn't a fan. So, um, I keep spinning just trying to see if it can stretch out enough to be useful. But, nah. So, pour over we go. And um, this is why I tell people when you do blooms, you have to be patient. Because I've been doing them for like a year and a half. And there's still times I don't like them. I think that's true of all of us. I think that's probably true of even Shelly herself. I'm sure she doesn't like every single thing she does. So you have to be patient with yourself. You can't throw in the towel when you don't like what you see. Because there's so much almost like chemistry experiment that goes on when you do this. So be patient with yourself and understand that that's why poor scrape repeat is such a great name for a paint group, which is Mark and Erica's group, because that is the life of a pouring artist. You are not going to have a great attempt every time. So that's my little chin up speech for you. Um, so I just used the last of the Palazzo, or I'm using the last of the Palazzo. So I end up, so I don't waste any, because who wants to waste color art? You know, it's delicious. I kind of spread it out into the green a little bit. Um, so here we go, white cell activator. Cell activator, by the way, is mixed with Amsterdam, titanium white, and Australian Floetrol, uh, three to one ratio, roughly, and then this is actually Lamp Black from Graham, which I really like this as a cell activator. I don't know that it plays too well with the white, but that could be part of the problem. Anyway, the ratio is about the same. No ratio is going to be perfect. You just kind of have to see if it's the right consistency. So we're going to give this a go again. And I can tell you, you're probably going to see these colors in another video because I have an idea. Mine is nothing like Pernal's. You have to see his video. But I have an idea. And um, well, I have a couple of ideas. So it might be worth just doing a separate video versus making a really long one. One of the things I like about being inspired by other artists is they might put combos of color together that I would maybe never consider. And that stretches me a lot. And that's one of the things I've always admired about his channel is sometimes he will put colors together and I'm like, wow, who would have thought that those four colors would create that, you know? And so it gives you good color inspiration when you get, um, I wouldn't say stuck because I always have ideas of color, but sometimes I want to use colors I don't use as much. And it really stretches me to push myself a little further so you can see we have a better blowout here the white cell activator is surrounding the color which is kind of the purpose of a dual cell activator as it creates these um, bubbles around cells you can also get that effect to a degree by using a puddle of color underneath your cell activator like in white or black um, so I really love the dark cells um, that are now in the top. It's beautiful. I really love the way that blew out. So one of my ideas is to nix the white and just do similar colors with the black cell activator um, because I really love how deep and rich those colors are at the edge. Um, the other thing I would like to do is try the tiny bit of white in the pouring medium underneath the black cell activator so those are some of the things I'd like to try. I also have some turquoise green cell activator that really needs to be used. So I would like to try that over a tiny puddle of black with these colors because I think that would look really cool. So these are the random ideas I have. You can see why that probably deserves to be a separate video. So don't be bored with these colors because you're probably going to see them again. But just look how cool that looks with the magenta and the peacock feather. So here's a close up. That part right there is my favorite. I am going to try to tweak it a little bit. So 
stay tuned for future videos. Don't forget to check out Pranal's channel. The link is below, along with the color art promo or discount code uh, to save 20%. Please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.